What is 0 raised to the power of 0? Is it 0? Is it 1? Or is it something else? So we have been studying that any number raised to the power 0 is equal to 1. So by that logic, if k is 0, is it 0 is to power 0, 1? And then we have another theory going on that if 0 raised to the power k, then it's 0. Because we are multiplying 0 k times. So by this logic, 0 raised to the power 0 should be 0. So which of these is true or none of these is true? So let's understand. So I went ahead and tried to plot some values. So I see that 1 raised to the power 1 is 1, which is here. We also know that minus 1 raised to the power minus 1 is minus 1, so it's here. And I went ahead and plotted for 0 0.9 to the power 0 0.9 and 0 0.8, 0 0.8. So we see that here the value is decreasing. and But the rate of decrease has slowed down. And here you can see that 0 0.6931, 0 0.6968. So after 0 0.4, it's starting to increase. And now the rate of increase gradually slows down after reaching, let's say, 0 0.99. So it is still 0.99, only the number of 9s is increasing as we go on a smaller and smaller. That is closer and closer to 0. And the same is plotted here. So for 1 it was 1. It started decreasing and then started increasing back and saturated around 1 as far as we are on the positive side of 0. On the negative side, for minus 1 it is minus 1. Or minus 2 it will be minus 2 raised to the power minus 2 which is equal to 1 over minus 2 square which is 1 over 4 or 0.25 so it will be somewhere around here on the positive side for minus 3 it will be 1 over minus 3 cube which will be minus 1 over 27 which will be very close to 0 so here you can see it's minus 0.037 which is here close to 0 for 4 again it will be positive but close to 0 because it will be some power 4 but what about these intermediate values minus 0.25 can we find the value of minus 0 0.25 raised to the power minus 0 0.25 so it will be equal to 1 over minus 0 0.25 raised to the power of 0 0.25 and 0 0.25 is nothing but 1 over 4. So we have to find 1 over minus 0 0.25 raised to the power 1 over 4. So the value of this term, the denominator, we want to find a number k such that if we do k to the power 4, it becomes minus 0.25. But we know that for positive numbers, if it's a even power, it will be positive. For positive, even for odd, it will be positive. But for even negative, if we raise some even power, then it will be positive. But here, after we raise to the power 4, we need to find such k that it becomes minus 0.25. So it's not possible on a real line. We will enter into imaginary numbers or complex numbers domain. So it's uh, basically it's not defined and cannot be represented on this real line for minus 0.25 and so on. So for any power, we see that if uh, it had been uh, minus 1 over 3, raised to the power minus 1 over 3 then we can find it because it will be 1 over minus 1.1 1 .1 over 3 1 over 3 so we have to find a number k such that if we multiply it three times it becomes minus 1 by 3 so k will be some negative number so for all this odd powers we can find the value, but for all the even powers, we cannot find the value which is in the denominator.
so by same logic if we try to go closer and closer to uh, this uh, zero from negative side from positive side it was not a problem if we go from negative side so let's say we want to find 0.001 minus raised to the power minus 0.001 so we are interested in x to the power x all the time so this is equivalent to 1 over minus 0.001 raised to the power 0.001 and this is nothing but 1 over 1000 so we have to find the number k such that if we multiply k 1000 times then it becomes minus some number small number but here again we have even power and we can only find complex or imaginary numbers but not a real number but if we take a number which is very close to this one which is so instead of 1 over 1000 minus 1 over 1000 we take minus 1 over 999 so it will be almost close to this one and we raise to the power of minus 1 to the power 999 then again we can find the value so for all odd powers we can find the value for even powers we'll, we will not find so the limit on the left side is not defined so here if we, we can say that x closing towards 0 and we call it limit x raised to the power x 0 positive is 1 and it's definite but x 0 negative is not defined so uh, we have to just consider the value of 0 and beyond so should we take but we have not exactly found at 0 we had found for numbers very very close to 0 just greater than 0 but not exactly 0 so what should be the value of 0 for positive we know that limit approach is 1 so for if we have to pick any value it's it would be very useful to pick the value 1 because we know that uh, in a binomial theorem we say that if we have x plus y and we have to find its power n then it's equal to this summation k equal to 0 to n and n choose k x raised to the power k and y raised to the power n minus k and here the condition is that n is some positive value and k is greater than or equal to 0 so n can also be 0 so this is allowed here for this formula so let's put x equal to 0 and let's say for simplicity n is 3 so first let's calculate x plus y cube then we will put x 0 so it will be k equal to 0 so 3 choose 0 x 0 y cube plus 3 choose 1 x 1 y 2 plus 3 choose 2 x square y 1 plus 3 choose 3 x cube y to the power 0 now let's simplify it further 3 choose 0 is 1 so it's x 0 y cube plus 3 times x y square plus 3 times x square y plus x cube y 0 now let's assign x equal to 0 then on the left hand side it becomes y cube y plus 0 cube is same as y cube and on the right hand side it becomes 0 to the power 0 y cube plus 
x is 0, so 3 times 0 will become 0. So this term will go away. This term will go away because it's x square, 0 square. Similarly, this term will go away because it's 0 cube. So on the left hand side, we have y cube. On the right hand side, we have 0 raised to the power y cube. So in order for this to be valid, the only value that we can pick is 1. So we saw that uh, although it's uh, from the graph, it, sees, it seems that the limit of x on 0 positive side is 1. On the left hand side, 0 negative side, it's not defined. And in order to find the value at 0, so if we had uh, been given that uh, if it's 0 minus, it's also 1 then we would have concluded that it's 1 because limit on the right side of 0 is also approaching 1 on the left hand side also approaching 1 so uh, it's 1 at 0 but that was not the case but for convenience purpose for uh, many things to work in mathematics the most convenient thing that we can pick for 0 to the power 0 is 1 so that would be the conclusion. It's not very conclusive, but, but if any value is valid, then this has to be 1. So thanks for watching. See you in some other math interesting mathematical tricks in the next video.